Hello and welcome back to the Fabled Sphinx. My name is Sphinx and today we're playing some more Death and Taxes. Okay, we are already in game. We're just gonna jump right into it. Marker, move. Goodness. Alright, uh, just going over, paying attention. What was the quota? Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. Let's see, let's see. Uh, for most in economy, there's improvement to critical economic reforms. Oh yes, that was with the president that we had saved before. Knife, knife girl is dead. Tour guide is, tour person is dead. Chauffeur is dead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, everything looks to be in order. Okay, oh, something about a, just, the, uh, yeah, this was a problem. Microscale steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. That's not a good, that's not, no good. Uh, <laughs> cozy Bohemian Waffle House, gaining popularity. Alright, cool. Bohemian Waffle House, that's interesting. Okay, I think, if I remember correctly, one of these guys had something to do, no, that was the inmate. Let's see, the biochemist, let's see. Jewel was born in the countryside but moved to the big city to go to the university. They like rock concerts and bars, although their visits have fallen due to have to having substance abuse issues in the past. They're trying to find a cure for chicken flu. Okay. And geologist. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their belief that microscale steam mechanics are totally doable. The dream of creating microscale model stream train by using the soon to be available technology. Oh, okay, alright, so I think this was the guy, I think, let's see here. Money launderer. Christopher opened a waffle house in the middle of the Cacti Valley to have a reason to claim illegal income, but avoid customers. When a hiker finds the place, which sometimes happens, Christopher starts sweating profusely and attempts to cook with ten-year-old ingredients. Oh my goodness? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so I think I have to spare this guy, I have to spare- because I was a geologist, right? And the biochemist, and... Oh yes, the al archaeologist, legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider. Consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Feridian region. Oh no. I don't want to spare him, he's stealing... things. <laughs> um, this guy... Uh, Elijah, the inmate, is currently incarcerated at the local jail for producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab that had access that he had access to as a chemistry student. They still dream of finishing their degree program after getting out of jail. Eli now wishes to be a diplomat as they are constantly negotiating gang deals in jail and surviving. Okay, buddy. He's a street kid, that's for sure. And then what's with you? Rashida is a representative from Carthenia, a nation recovering from a major economic crash in Cosmopolis City for a state visit. They've come to negotiate a mutually beneficial agreement as they were being driven to City Hall. Their vehicle was attacked by would-be assassins and rammed off the road. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, I think I want to take out the money launderer. Yeah, taking out the money launderer. This kid, he wants to be a diplomat. Huh. Why are we producing hard drugs to begin with? Okay, alright. Let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, so this is anyone with a science background, so I can't kill these guys. I. Why does he want to create a microscale model steam train, please? Alright. So these guys have to live. Marker. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's see. She is a diplomat, and he wants to be a diplomat. One of these two have to die. Um. I want her to live. Alright. Sorry, buddy. Alright. Christopher Wyatt. Alright, did I get everything? I think I got everybody. Yep, so two people have to die. Spare one sense background. Okay. And we 
read all our messages, so let's get a move on. Yes. That was a lot of reading. Alright. Ooh. I got a package! <gasps> okay, we gotta go see Fate first. Hey, boss. What a day, Grim. What a day. Let us go over your conduct first. Did I do something wrong? Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Okay. Today seems to be in order. It, it seems so, seems so. Anyway, Grim, five days... <gasps> it's been, been five here. days already? How does it feel to make the difficult choices? Oh my. I'm not too keen on any of these answers, honestly. I don't think I feel like I need to kill more people. I don't feel like it's a regular job either. I mean, we're a Grim Reaper. We just respawned five days ago. How do we know what any other job feels like? That doesn't make sense. Um, I wouldn't say I've grown to enjoy it, but I think this is the closest to how ah, I feel about it. I told you one would get used to it. Uh, at least... Uh, <laughs> I I <laughs> well, yeah. Corporate motivation. Yes! That. See, that middle management position. That's what I'm gunning for. For sure. But... Think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Is there another way? Perhaps I... Um, no, hey, never mind. What are you keeping from me? I have not me? found a way around the tradition. And I have been here... a long time. Well, I wasn't born yesterday. In fact, I was born five days ago. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? Okay, but you hand out the rules and make me do the choices. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. I'm not happy with the solution. This this is true, honestly. Um, I I follow the rules so I can get paid and do what I'm supposed to do. This is what I was made to do. True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. Sheeple. The office is perennial and venerated. I don't know what either of those Eons words mean. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. I mean, not all the time that you've been doing things for a very long time do you know completely what you're doing. Times change. Things can change. Strategies can change. Methods can change. It's just... You don't have to do it the same way for ever. Oh, yes, I don't think I you do should. Apologize for taking up so much of your time. I'm not doing anything else. Before you go, <laughs> are there any questions you would like to ask me? Okay, why haven't I seen any underage profiles? What's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Why do all the profiles refer to people as they? Not really. Oh. Wait, is that? Do they not say he or she? Huh. Yeah, is there a point oh. system? <clears throat> not at all. Oh, really? Okay. You don't sound too sure, but I don't want to question Fade too much, but I want to question Fade. <laughs> I am. Quite so. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. I mean, that is true. What point was I the trying to make here? I don't even... The <laughs> situations that bring them onto your desk. A result of their own deeds and decisions. Oh, okay. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade, so do not worry about it. Okay. Oh, I believe this game has multiple endings, by the way. Um, I'm only going to play it probably like this once on for you guys to see, but it, when you, if you get the game you can just play it however many times you want and get all the different endings. Anything else? All right. Uh, oh, I can ask the other three now. Okay. Um, what are these ah, underage the profiles? Children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. You will not find any yourself. Oh, that's good. 
Are there many others? Countless. Whoa. How many re- Oh, I want to ask both of these. <laughs> How many? Infinite. Infinite. Wait, hold on, but then why is my number six- What was I, 63? Close enough. Close. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I'm sure the animals get their own department. What is this An about? An astute observation. You see, Grim, our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. Really? I feel like that would be a factor, though. Minimal. Oh. Everyone you assess is simply a human. human, after all, excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. I see. Anything else? <laughs> okay, let's ask Absolutely. about the animals. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Oh my. Even plants. Yes, there is a department for plants. Do not, Do not ask, ask about the plant department. <laughs> but what if I wanted to know about the plant department? This is Anything important else? information. What about unliving things, buildings and stuff? Hmm. No, I don't really care. <laughs> it has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. Enlightening for me tomorrow. or for you? Because <laughs> I feel like you had to think about some stuff. Alright, why am I- I want- I want to get a raise. Oh, what's this? Knock, knock. Uh, okay. Who is That's there? That's exactly the question, ain't it? Um... What are you? We are the exalted Chimera. Envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are angst ex milio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. Oh. We are Elan Vital. The guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. Okay. We are death. I thought I was How death. Does it feel? I feel fine. Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? Listen, lady, I was born five days ago. It's a grim world out there. Ha 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 ha. I see what you did there. What the heck was this about? Okay, well, back to the elevator. What can we buy? Mortimer, what you got, buddy? Have ye seen such deals before? What's this? Tis ye who plunders me. Yes, it is. Am Eye of Ampu. Oh, it's part of the clothing. God of the dead, mummification, embalming to the afterlife. Cemeteries and tombs and the protector of underworld. The hound. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunningly canine visage. Oh. Okay. I want it. Ever been to the land of dunes, you scallywag? You mean there Egypt? There be ancient civilizations under the sand sometimes. Once I dug out this particular golden icon. All while I was digging, the owls of the World Eater rang in my ears. World Eater? But cool. I persisted. Ah! Dug until me fingers cracked. No stopping. Till the riches were secured. Ah. Tis truly a wondrous thing. Turns your own head into a jackal's it does. <gasps> really? I love it. It's mine now. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna be a jackal? Hold on. Okay. Yes! <laughs> I love it. That's what we are now. Oh, we're so cool. Okay, wait. Do we have an outfit to match this? Um, hmm. Kind of with it, but not quite. I want like a yellow and black. I'm okay with this. I think this is a cool new look. Alright, this is what we're gonna go with. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's so awesome. Oh wait, we have to end the day. 
Okay. Wait, was it a five-day trial period or a seven-day trial period? I don't remember. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wrong way. Back to the office. Okay. We seem to be on the precipice of dark times. I may have warned you that this job can have some harsh moments. Today is that day. Quota for the day. A total of six humans have to die. At least two humans age 60 or older have to die. Any humans with an economy-related profession have to die. Economy-related profession. This is very serious. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's check Cocker. Um, historians warn artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war-torn Faradin. Oh, that's the guy we had to... Wait, did we... No, he had to live because he had a science background. Damn it. We have to do something about the looting that's re-escalating the conflict. A biochemist almost dies in a fire at work. They were able to get out by following a fleeing cat. A cat saves lives. Are we saved? Young biochemist finds a vaccine for chicken flu. Yay! Chicken flu vaccine shots now free thanks to a donation from a local business. Oh. Visiting diplomat escorted to safety after gunfight ensues between unknown assailants and law enforcement. That's the diplomat lady we saved. Chemistry puns gone wrong. Inmate at local jail stabbed to death. Sorry, buddy. I, I'm sorry. The military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO. That's right, world. You progress. Okay. So that's that. Um, we got a lot to do. Okay, so six of them need to die. Alright, so first we have to take anybody out with a economy-related profession. A cultist. What? Wait. Okay. Let's, uh... Okay. So she's 24. Naira is a loyal member of a group who are devoted to a forest spirit, believing both the spirit and the trees are from the future, as they might stout oak seems to be a lot older than the rest of the forest. Naira enjoys nature, but isn't that keen on the ritual branch whipping, which seems to be important to their leader. Ha. Huh. Okay. 58. Kermit has a warm, kind-hearted personality and does his, their best to help troubled youth and marginalized people. They are community activists and run a private practice for cognitive behavioral therapy and when they aren't dealing with their grandkids. Aww. Kermit. You're gonna go up there, buddy. Because you're not 60, so you don't really... And wait, with a economy-related profession. Yeah, you're a psychologist, so I think you're fine. You're safe. Bart, 54, he's a banker. He's a wealthy banker married with two kids and an affair with the brother of the spouse, but the partner found out and took off with the kids. Then the brother committed suicide, and Bart in sorrow moved to a huge countryside mansion where they wait alone to meet their lover again. Wait, hold on. He's a wealthy banker married with two kids. They had an affair with the brother of their spouse. Did... He have the affair or did the spouse of the I don't know, you're a banker. That affects the economy. I'm sorry, you have to die. So I'll put the death pile right here next to the machine. Uh CEO. Theophany is the latest heir of the Ainer family. The family started off providing security almost a hundred years ago with their initial monitor C consulting firm. Over time they acquired a number of factories and grew into the arms providing conglomerate not not now known as Sund Owner Security Services. Okay. You're 40. Oh, you're 70. Gene, he's retired. Baptist is a retired carpenter and a veteran of the long ago military conflict at the Marasola Peninsula. For years, they have had to deal with bouts of PTSD which they've managed to alleviate in their own twilight years by painting and com com composing melancholic folk songs. They run a successful investment firm on the side. Investment firm. Hmm. Banker Raz, a widely celebrated economist, is called a preeminent expert in market manipulation. For the past decade, they've appeared on many television programs advising people when and where to invest their funds. Alright, you go in the death pile. Retired, 66, Kiji made a fortune with their protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard-earned fortune on helping the community, supplying the improve, imp 
impoverished regions with free potato plants and helping them become self-sufficient. You are such a good dude! Alright, how old are you? Wait a minute, 60 or older. He's 58, 27, 40. Oh, I gotta kill the two of them! Why? Damn you, fate! So these two have to die. So these four have to die right now, unfortunately. The bankers I don't really care for, but the two older gentlemen who are really good, they also have to go because two humans age 60 or older. Well, crap. Alright, so we got four in the death pile. We have to choose between these four now. Did I read his? Yes, I read his. I didn't read this guy. He's a daredevil! Before turning attention to stunts, Faro was into gymnastics, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and parkour. Their honed mind and body is now used for doing amazing... Or just weird tricks. Their latest idea is a classic going down an enormous waterfall in a barrel. They're an avid environmental activist. Huh. Okay. Let's see. The cultist. Uh huh. So, none of these are common. Oh my gosh. I can't talk. I can't read. What is happening today? All the economy related professions professionals have been put in the death pile. Two people age 60 or older are put in the death pile. And then we just need to add two more. Uh, let's see here. So they provide weapons. Yeah, they were once just a security agency of sorts, and then they grew into an arms providing conglomerate. So, hmm. Oh, was, was is this her? Is this the military industrial complex is tackling progressive issues by having their first ever female CEO? Okay, yeah, that's her that this is talking about. Visiting diplomat scores. Maybe the gunfight also had to do with her people. Maybe she supplied the wrong people with weapons. Hmm. Daredevil. This guy's good. He he has to live. And the daredevil, he's an avid environmental activist. Okay. I don't know if taking her out is a good idea, but that's what I want to do. Sorry, Naira. It's um, a lot of people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, that's everybody. So that's all the death, and these two get to live. Yeah, this is very serious. He's correct there. Okay. Ah, Grim. It, it was really rough, lovely yeah, man. Out there. New recruits often falter during dark times. I mean, I could see why. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. Oh, thank you. How do I you think... feel after such a day? It was a lot to do, but I worked it out. I don't know if I thought it was bad, but... Good, good. We have to do what is necessary. Even if we do not fully understand why. Um, I think it's good to understand what you're doing before you fully do it. Let us hope these days do not continue. Any idea what happened? Hmm. Yeah, I've been reading up on the news on Cocker, so maybe this Interesting. one. Interesting. An insightful streak may yet rattle inside that skull. <laughs> hmm? Well, technically I'm a jackal head now, so I actually have, like, flesh. So. Interesting, go, right? Malgrim. Good night. Oh, okay. Uh, see you later, boss. Night, kitty cat.
Huh, I killed a lot of people for only 300. I don't find that. Oh, <gasps> this is open! Cerberus Den! Oh, hey Gus. The air is eerily cold, as if frozen in place. Too scared to move an inch. Hi! Yeah, what, what do you want? Beep, beep, beep. I'm New Grim number 63. I actually have a jackal head. What I, wanted to see today. I mean, I made of lemons, but t I have a jackal head now. Hey now, Gus, play nice. Well, seems I'm stuck with you now. You wanna ask questions or something? Ah. Oh. Oh, I wanna ask the barkeep about her. What, what do you do here? I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Oh, I haven't done anything. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage oh. straight to the floor. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Gus. <laughs> oh, Pretty gosh. Good, right? A gift to the world from all you pompous reapers. Oh, I, well, I wouldn't say I'm pompous. <laughs> I could be at least a little more considerate. I appreciate See, you, Gus. Uh, thanks. Eh, something else you wanted? Who are you before? What's that supposed to mean? Because you thought I'm the ghost of some dead human or beast or what? Oh, you could be the ghost of an awesome monster right. beast. I mean, if only. <laughs> Kill him with kindness. No! Go sort me a residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever other entities. We're just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. Of course you are. I am the ghost of a ghost. Oh. What? Hold on, you were a ghost and then you died. Yeah, pretty much. What? How does that work? How do you think? I ghosted around a long while, doing the ghost business, and then one day, I died. Wait, what? I know what you're thinking now, and yeah, there is a ghost apart. Oh! Northeasterly direction down on floor 133. Oh. Not too busy over at Geistall, though. Ghosts don't die that often. Comes to the territory. Oh. Eh, something else you wanted? No, no, I'll ask you more questions later. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Yeah, I appreciate you, Gus. Oh, oh, oh! You must be the barkeep. Whoa. Hello there. I'm Sari, and I welcome you to Cerberus's Den, the <laughs> finest drinking establishment this side of the void. <laughs> I like her personality. <laughs> sure as heck, I haven't seen you before. You must be brand. New. Oh yeah, I'm only like six days old. Going for the howler look, eh? Yeah. The jackal runs across the savanna at night and all that. Cool, cool. Huh? I like her. So, are you liking existence thus far? Lots of tedious paperwork oh, so I far. It. Administrative bureaucracy just can't be escaped. They'll always find you. Eventually. Oh, man. But hey, that's why you figure out the small cracks in the system you can manipulate. Oh, like reading Cocker? Okay, newbie, before we continue, I got this little uh, game I play with every fresh faced patron. It's real simple. Oh, what kind of game, lady? All you gotta do is answer a series of questions, and I'll craft a personalized drink inspired by what you said. That's like really cool. I like that. Right, <clears throat> the gist. I'll describe some sort of an odd situation, and you answer how you. I usually do four questions and nothing else to it. Okay. Here Sounds good. We go. Prepare for question number one. After years of working a stable, albeit a monotonous office desk job, you are let go due to a corporate downsizing. Oh no. This, however, has given you a chance to reinvent yourself. What will you become? I don't like any of these answers, but probably, hmm. 
I hate math. I don't think working is dumb. So, I guess I'm an executioner. Time for question number two. After being tasked with creating a computer game about dating monstrous eldritch gods, you've come up with several characters. Okay. Which of the possible god beings is clearly the hottest and most dateable of the lot? Alright, alright. Ab Nebrath, mostly as with gorgeous blonde mane, um, the blind idiot god, at least they're fuzzy, so a grotesque tree with a warm heart, one arm, eternal, flexing, <laughs> nameless, misty, ethereal beauty, if a bit translucent, wolf ram, half wolf, half ram, half tank. What in the heavens? This one. Next up, question three. Almost there. Okay. You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. Oh no. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with a personality of your choice. Which will you choose? Murder bot. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the theme I'm going with. Final stretch. As I said, four is all anyone ever needs. Isn't this like... I feel like you've asked me like six questions so far. You and a friend are valiant but poor warriors. You both venture out to slay a mighty dragon. It's a fierce battle. Okay. And your friend thinks he slew the dragon, while in actuality, you did. When asked, what will you do? Friends are important. Got it. Let me just calculate the results. Wait a moment. Oh, calculate? How do you calculate? Wait, what? Hmm. I'd like to see this stability. process. I got an achievement. Balancer. Mm -hmm. Prone to conformity. Concoction in mind. Okay. Let's start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin. I like one gin. Centiliter of elderflower liqueur, Ooh. One centiliter of sugar syrup. Two deciliters of club soda. How did she know? <gasps> In some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and some ice. Holy crap. I am pleased with this. Quiz tells no lie. I think a suitable name would be Borehole. Borehole? I, I'm not fond of the name, to be honest. Oh, nice! The drink, smooth waves rolling into a coast, then receding, gradually, a constant rhythm of symmetrical alternation grinding off the edges. The taste recalls a harmonious interplay of physical forces soothing a turbulent soul until all that's left is a polished plain of alabaster. It's almost a death-changing experience. Reasonably that's yummy. an understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? Hmm... I think I'll be going now. Au revoir, little. Oh, au revoir. <laughs> I'm not little. I have a jackal head. All right, let's get a move on. That was interesting. Oh wait, Mortimer, you got anything Good for me? Patron. Whoa! Big ship of goods is at your service. What's this? Lithian Obliviator. The Lithian Obliviators used to remove grievous mistakes, meaning it erases whichever mark you made. <gasps> One use only? Seriously? It's 400. Hmm. The Calavera. Clothing. Only a noble craftsman can craft an alfinique of this caliber. Exquisite, tasty, no one can deny it. I'd have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. Eh. Mm. I'll take this with me. Avast! This tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild waves. You have more? It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. I can't tell if you're actually proud of that or not. <laughs> Alright, let's turn in for the day. Oh. Oh, that's the den. That's right. Wait, there's a package. Oh, it's there. Oh, okay, I see. That's Mortimer's package. It's left on my desk. Nope, wrong one. 
Oh, it's called Lit. That's hysterical. Okay. Okay, let's end the day. Head to the office. There's the eraser. Let's put that in the drawer here. Oh, that's where I've been spending my money, so there's like none on the desk. Alright, let's see. Local man commits suicide after losing family savings in the market crash. Oof. Respected financier found dead after devastating market crash. Suicide suspected. Oh. Crooked bankers. Master bank officials under investigation for years long fraud. Sun donor taking a massive hit in the stock exchange today. A CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Unexpected tornado destroys mansion of a wealthy ex banker. Strange ritualistic force murders have stumped the police. I mean, it's for a good cause, and all but the barrel off a waterfall trick has been done a lot in the last hundred years. Not impressed. Editorial by Youth Psychologist Inspires Anti-Bullying Movement. That's awesome. Will Superstar Racer Miguel Sock bring home another trophy for Cosmopolis City? Who knows? Whoopsies. Oh, okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Quota for the day, two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Alright, perfect. That's just what I needed. We got Brian Chu, 89, retired. Brian lived an exciting and joyous life up until retirement, then everything started going downhill. Life became rough, sad, and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone, the pets died, nothing seems to be going right at all, and yet they keep living. Uh, we got a lot of suicides happening. I don't know if... Alright, we'll put you to the side, I don't know what to do with him right now. Holland. He's a burglar. Once during a routine burglary, Holland got attacked by a kid who was unintentionally left behind by their vacationing family. This occurrence made them appreciate the quiet days far more. Usually they leave a clean house behind, sometimes even doing the dishes. Wait, so is he... he's still robbing places? <laughs> but he's just a neat freak now? Is that is that what this is about? This occurrence made him appreciate the quiet days far more. Alright, e, alright. Retired Titus. Titus is the latest heir of a noble pedigree. As such, they manage to retire young due to all the inherited wealth. These days, they spend their time lounging listlessly in constant... And... And you? I, I don't know what that, that means. Okay. Mm. You seem like a brat. You don't do anything with your life either. Theoretical barkeeper, race car driver. Miguel has always dreamt of becoming a beekeeper, but for some reason, perhaps due to a fear of sharp objects, has never pursued their true passion. This in turn has led them to become a very successful race car driver, an occupation they unfortunately hate. They rather just live quietly with their bees. Theoret that's why it's a theoretical beekeeper. Okay. I'll put you up there. I'm not sure what to do with you. As of yet. A liar and a grifter. This is Francois. Uh, 66. Scam artist. Uh, Francois is an ex-politician who has spent many years writing books of ignorant nonsense. These words and his actions caused a veritable butterfly effect of misery on a global scale which they now profit off of. You get to die. Uh, policy consultant, Angus. There's nothing like the smell of freshly mined coal in the morning. At least that's what Angus believes. They consult politicians on an all-energy-related policies, always advocating for more drilling, more mining, more cutting. Clean energy is for losers, apparently. Absolutely not. How many humans do we have to kill? Two. Two humans. Okay, so you're not... Oh. Whoopsies. You're not doing anything to harm anybody. So two of them. You have to die. Let's see, you... You have to die for sure. What do you do? Um... You seem the least troublesome. But you two... Absolutely not. Okay. Whoops. Marker, come here. Two of them. Yep, that's the two, so the rest of you get to live. Okay. 
Okay. So we got a bunch of potatoes, some thieves, some... This guy who doesn't like clean energy for whatever reason. Alright, we're good to go. Two death, three live, everything's in order. Wait, what? I have unmarked profiles? Where? Oh, I missed this guy. Okay, there we go. Now we got everybody. Okay, let's go see the big boss. There's a cloud in my dressing room. Welcome, Grim. It is the end of the week. Oh, it is seven days. Your performance review draws near. How do you think you have been doing? I think I've managed to follow the rules. Mm. Yes, your answer has been recorded. It's a psych for the psych Oh my gosh! Now then, before the assessment, let us look over your daily conduct. Okay. I see the required profiles are all here. Yes, they are. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. Cool, cool. I guess it is time to get started. About today. Yes. What about today? Did I make a difference? Did we oh, help? Absolutely. Things are already looking up. Okay, cool. Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules, it will all get better. Okay. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. I have stats. <laughs> Looking at these stats, the numbers say your conduct over the seven days has been oh. excellent. I am sincerely surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. Well, you know. So much so that the office has Make deemed it rain. fit for a raid. Yay! We do what we can to provide for our spawn. I like Speaking raises. Of, the rays also come. I get a prize. A the office is proud to present you with an award of excellence. <gasps> Display it proudly on your workstation. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn and many rules to follow. I like ice cream. What? I swear, there must have been something off in the Grim Brew. You mean besides the <laughs> achievement ice cream? <laughs> uh, yeah, you made me with lemons. What the heck were you expecting? I need something sweet now to balance my palate, damn it. As such, your seven day evaluation period oh. has concluded. You have passed. Sweet. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. So I guess uh, one way to fail would be to just go against everything they tell you. Like, go ham. Do whatever you want. 400! Alright! Cool, 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 cool. Let's go see the Emporium first. Need ye cures for ailments or a trinket to ward off a curse? Uh, okay, so this is the ethereal. This has been here forever, I feel like. Alright, the Infernal Illuminator. The Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again, else it can't show much anything because that's how things work, okay? That doesn't sound useful whatsoever. I don't want something that I won't need. Alright. I don't want anything here. Let's visit the dead. Ooh, what's this? When did you get this plant? Hey now, Sonny. We don't belong to nobody. Are you from the Who plant department? told you about the plant department? Uh, am I not supposed to no know? No one is supposed to know about the plant department. Uh, uh, I want this plant, though. I love it. Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anyway. Come on, you can tell me. Hey, ain't nothing to tell. I don't believe not you. Not gonna lose any sleep over that, Sonny. But I had Who hoped. Who dares to hope in uh. this day and age? This is such a morbid plan. <laughs> Stop bothering an old plant, why don't you? 
I think we're gonna crack at him. He's gonna crack. Uh, you can trust me. Can we? Can we really? Yes, You're I can not keep a secret. Leave us alone, otherwise. Pretty much. Sunny, it's just a regular department. Not even that big, but it's very busy. Why is it busy? What do you think? It's a department for managing plant life. Oh yeah, that that makes sense. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Oh plants yeah. Plants everywhere. We're real tired of folks asking about the plant department. Why? Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome busybodies with annoying questions. Oh, sorry. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? Does so the mystery act just make you more compelling to people? Eh, might be. Can't help it though. There's theater in my xylem. <laughs> Anything else, seeing as we're now deep in the soil of inquiry? Yeah, what's your name? Oh, okay. no. We see you got a keen I mind, clicked the wrong thing. So we'll let you in on a secret. I don't know what I just clicked. But you didn't hear this from us. Gotta promise you won't spill a bean. I promise. If I don't even know what I clicked. At some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizome reaches far and wide. Right into your room, if Oh, I would love that. And these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an uh, instant. Oh. Snap. Y yeah, just tell me the secret. We're secretly seated a cabal of plant worshippers who will summon the antediluvian monster god by us for us. Really? No. Obviously, we're joking. Oh, I got caught. Or, uh, Oh, uh, I, I don't know if I got got. Okay, wait, what's your name? I'm Herbert. It's Herbert. Hiya, Herbert. You know, sort of like a herb -ert. A herb. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, pleased to meet don't you, Herbert. The green fella holding me up. Green fella. Oh, the actual plant, you mean? That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Oh, nice to meet you, Tim. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> right. I'll catch you later. Not in this lifetime, Sonny. What? I will. I will see you again, Herbert and Tim. If you actually exist, Tim, I don't know. Alright. Let's head out. Oh, wait, I came here for a drink. Oh, it's fine. We gotta end up. Let's see what the new day has in store for us. Because uh, we are through our evaluation period. So, let's see what changes have been made. Ooh, look! It's my award! And we didn't spend anything, so he's actually saved some money this time. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's put that there. Let's see what's going on here. Superstar Miguel Sock wins yet another grand tourney trophy. Still hates racing. Racing is super dumb, they say during the post-victory interview. Local wildlife reportedly happy the morning for some reason. Oh, it's because we talked to Herbert. Uh, Cosmopolis Suburbs announced record levels of clean air recovering from decades of coal exploitations because we killed that stupid coal guy. Popular politi political commentator dies of a heart attack. Oh, dear. Well, it is what it is. Alright. A whole week already. My, the time flies. Well, more tasks. Straight ahead. I think we are making a difference, so let us continue with what we are doing. Quota for the day. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans aged between 35 and 60 if possible. Uh, if possible. Okay, cool. So I have a little more leeway this time. Keep it up, fate. Uh, okay. How many do we have? We have five to choose from. Okay. So, I think we're going to continue this one on in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so much fun. Be sure to leave a comment down below what you might have done differently to me during making any of these decisions. Um, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. This has been great. Let's do it again sometime.